this reading is for you. So you may be paranoid about a relationship right now. You may be worried, super worried about somebody. You may be looking for this person and waiting to hear from them. You may be waiting by the phone. And this may be a new situation that you're involved with. And you don't really know where you're going, but you're kind of excited and you're hoping for the best. I think right now the situation you're in is very light and casual. It's a friendship. You guys are hanging out and having fun. And you right now are single. You're not in a relationship yet. And this person that you're wanting, they may be not returning your affections right now. And that's why you have such a big crush on them that it's, you know, it's a little slow right now when it comes to them returning your love. And I think you may be used to having some people not return your affections the way you've wanted to. And you may have held on to some people who have not returned your affections as well as you wanted to. And so I think when it comes to this situation that you're dealing with, if they're not giving you the energy that you're giving them and they're not being consistent, then I think you're going to get a clear sign from them that it's not going to work out and that a, a future relationship is going to be coming for you that is much more stable and secure. I see that you're going to meet somebody who definitely respects you and you're going to have um, a much more clear direction in future relationships. I think that this person that you're kind of talking to right now, that you're just fearing and that it's not working out, I don't think they really respect you the way your future partner is going to respect you. I think they're going to see you as somebody who's really got it pulled together. And But I do see that you may have too high of expectations from, uh, from partners and you may want to just... Do, take it a little bit slower and let them lead and maybe try to get to the third date as opposed to getting married to them immediately, if you know what I mean. So the seven of wands is, you know, it's, it's fear that, that you guys are just going to be at odds and fighting all the time and that you're going to, you know, not be in a relationship that's in harmony. But I do see that you do meet someone. The Six of Swords is is a relationship that starts and the Empress is something that is really beautiful that that comes to you and it's something that you want and and you're seen for your beauty. And so you do eventually get into the relationship you want. But I think that this person that you're worried about now and it's just like confusion and you're just it's like you're just waiting for something that's kind of failing and you're sort of waiting for it to fail. And so just accept if somebody isn't giving you the attention you need, then then just, you know, get get rid of them. Just move on. You know, you you can you can have so much better because I see a relationship that's just so much more fulfilling is is going to come to you. So just give it give it some time. Thanks so much, Patreon. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Goodbye.